guys. It is Tuesday morning. We are checking in. We got Steinwater with the beer <laughs> game. We got Radachi in the house. D Bass somewhere. Big Dolph Jordan, seven foot eleven Sasquatch in the house. But uh, we're doing some legs day. We're gonna do some front squats. He's supposed to show us some different workouts, but I think we're gonna stick with the front squats and uh, what we know best because we're on a time schedule here. So let's get started, guys. I can't see my form. <laughs> Jordan.
right, guys, it's been a rough day already. Uh, seems like everybody in the gym's hitting legs today, but we got the leg press machine final. We're gonna do some leg press. Probably go heavy on this. As you just saw, we did some front squats. Your boy got a new PR on that. Notice how he's not locking out clear at the top, guys. You never fully lock out on leg press. All right, guys, we got right here, we got, it looks like eight plates on each side. I believe, if your calculations are correct, it is 720 in plates alone. The sled is 75 pounds, give or take. So you gotta also take the degree of the angle here. So you're looking at about, what, 795 pounds. So we'll just round up, say, about 800. Let's see how many times we can get this. Hey, hundo. Hundo. believe it then sure enough you can achieve it for Jordan to get these in. He's so tall. <laughs> See, he's doing a full extension. All the way down, all the way up. It's probably extremely light for him.
as you guys saw, we came here today to do legs. We had a big plan to do like some informative video for you guys. There's too many of us in here hitting legs. There's a lot of people hitting legs. So it's hard to really get a chance to get on the equipment, hold it down, and show you guys each workout. So we're kind of doing circuit training here. We got two, two machines we're going back and forth doing. Kind of super setting here. Gotta remember the importance of accessory work on each muscle group. Gotta hit those accessory parts. That's what these machines are real good for. Go finish up here with some leg extensions. Real good for the quads. Get a big dog. There it is. 
What's up guys? Here we are back in my car. So as you just saw, we destroyed, annihilated the leg day. Good leg session. I want to apologize off the off the rip here that uh, we didn't get a good informative explanation video for you guys. I feel like I have not been able to do that lately. We are going to make it a key point element here to do this this Friday. We're going to do a shorter workout for you guys. I really want to take you through a good explain shoulder workout and show you each area of the shoulders to hit which uh you know how to hit how to hit the front how to hit the sides because if i had to pick a good muscle group that i have genetically gifted i believe is my shoulders they're just kind of all rounded shaped well so i really want to give you guys a good informative workout video here this friday so look out for that um as you saw we did leg press we did front squat set a new pr in front squat i'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this lean bulking. I'm loving the results I'm getting, guys. I, I can't even put it into words. I'm, I'm in shock. I shocked myself today. The fact that I did 315 on front squat, 4-5, it, it just felt, I don't even know how to word it. It just felt awesome. Uh, big, big pat on the back for myself right there because uh, we did 225. I barely got it for 10. And I was like, wow, that felt super heavy. And I uh, did 275 for, I think, five or six. I'm like, you know what? I can get 315 for one. I know I can get 315 for one. And it just felt good. Smooth transitional down and up, down and up. And um, I'm telling you guys, I hear a lot of people claim that they don't like leg day. Get good at leg day. Get good at leg day as good as you get at doing chest or arms. And you will find some value and enjoyment in it. And that is what it's all about. I come in here and I, I do not dread leg day. Now, I will never dread leg day. I don't dread any workout day. You can tell me, let's go to the gym, do abs, core. And just don't tell me to go run right now <laughs> because my cardio game is a little weak I'm still doing 15 20 minutes a day, but uh, only five times a week and uh, It just I'm not really incorporating too hardcore So as you saw we did leg press as well set another PR 800 pounds 795 sorry 795 and uh, did it for 10 and uh my form was a little tweaked on that too. Jordan pointed out that my left leg was kind of bowing left and right, I guess. I haven't looked at it on the video yet, but um, he told me to make sure you keep it tight. And we were talking about a lot of people do leg press and their their, their lower back takes a um, you know takes a little stress and hit. And he was he was explaining, um, I really need to get I need to get him on camera explaining this stuff because he's very knowledgeable when it comes to strong lifting and heavy lifting. Uh, he's talking about a lot of people when they do leg press, their hips come off the bent off the back of the seat. So you want to make sure your hips are planted and your legs are tight so make sure if you're doing leg press or you're going heavy or even lightweight rep and just make sure your hips are planted and your butt stays on that seat and make sure your legs are tight full tight motion movements none of you know you don't want to bow any so little stuff like that that's why i want to get a nice informative video for you guys because he's got a lot of knowledge i got a lot of knowledge and aspect of it and it's nice to get other people's um you know outlook on different workouts and different areas to work on so and it's little key points like that to can transition your movement so um that's coming friday for sure friday for sure so great leg workout new prs feeling great i'm gonna go home smash my breakfast um want to talk to you guys um about my body weight right now i weigh 225 pounds this morning now, um, long story short, summarize everything up. Um, every morning I wake up lighter. Well, of course we all do because we fast through the night. You, you know, you sleep six, seven, eight hours. Your body's fast. It absorbs water, uh, absorbs the nutrients out of your body. So you wake up lighter than what you went to bed. Obviously, um, I woke up 225 pounds. Usually I've been waking up about 221, 222. So 225 pounds was legit for me today. So it means. Anywhere in the day after I drink my two gallons of water and I drink my or my BCAs, my protein shakes, I eat all my foods. Um, I weigh probably about 232 when I go to bed usually. So, and that's just the body fluctuates so much because I'm putting so much food into it right now. 3,200 calories a day, clean foods. That's that's a lot of food guys and I still have people today every day asking me how do you put that food down Troy? how are you eating that amount of food do you stay eating every hour but I'm telling you guys the gains are here so it's it's working it's definitely working um, I believe we're now three weeks into it so we got about five more weeks left of it and I I have no doubts in my mind that that 240 mark that I want to hit is coming it's coming hard and it's coming strong and as you guys see the weights going up and I'm going to keep pushing the I'm gonna keep pushing myself every day at the gym and I'm gonna keep pushing. Um, the big thing with food is it hit me yesterday about seven o'clock. I think I was eating one of my meals at work and it hit me. Like I, I was like, man, I really am not craving this food. It was Russell Sprouts and um, Pacific Cod. And I've been liking Pacific Cod, but I'm kind of just getting tired of eating it. And I haven't had any struggles yet eating the foods. That was the first time I had to sit down and really like, okay, I gotta get this down. I gotta get this down. And I had to tell myself, 
I had to take my mind to a different area because I was in a, the environment I was in, it's hard to get amped up, get motivated to sit there and eat that food. But I had to tell myself, um, you know, I'm not gonna let this food beat me. I'm not gonna let this little meal here be the difference in me putting on the size that I wanna put on and being a better me. So I told myself what I was gonna do and I did it and I got the food down. And you know, that may just sound like a small and I have exaggerated event, but it's it's tough. I mean, everyone thinks off season's easy and you can eat whatever you want and you can, oh, I can eat these and I can eat that. And it gets hard guys after the first couple weeks, it gets hard to put this food down. But it's all about persistence and just push yourself to do it. So make sure you do it guys, stick to the plan and don't ever let yourself down. So. With that all said, guys, I am rambling and I'm babbling. <laughs> I'm probably boring you guys now. So I hope you guys have been liking the videos lately. Um, so a lot of people have been commenting, messaging me saying they're liking the content. So if you are, awesome. If not, let me know. We'll change it up. But with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up, go home, get my last or my last, my first meal in me, and uh, get ready for my work day. So with that said, guys, always remember stay grinding, stay the course, and uh, stay pure to yourself, guys. Stay 100% pure to yourself and to your friends, family. That's they're the ones that matter the most. And don't ever, ever let anybody ever tell you you cannot achieve your dreams because if you can believe it here and you can feel it here, you can always achieve it, my friends. So until next episode, guys, have a great day.